Okay, how are we doing everybody? Polymer Bob here again. As you probably uh, know by now, I've made a series of three videos that outline a method of logging into PayPal while bypassing their requirements that you put in a cellular phone number. Now let's go ahead and let's see what we're talking about. Now, um, this is the PayPal login page. I've blocked out my email address because it has my real name in it. <clears throat> not that it's a big disaster if my name gets out there. It's uh, not like I'm doing anything crooked. But let's go ahead and let's put in a password here so we can see what we're talking about. Okay, as you can see, as, uh, as always, PayPal is demanding that you give them a cellular phone number before you log in to use their service. The 6190, this is an old number I used to have, I don't have it anymore. Uh, but basically you put in your phone number, they text you a code, and then it allows you to use the service. Now I choose not to give PayPal my, uh, my mobile number. Uh, you may choose not to give it to them or you may not have one. Regardless, if you do not put in a working cell phone number, you cannot get past this page, you are stuck. If you have any money in PayPal or making any transactions, you're stuck. You cannot get in. Now, I outlined a method before using Wikipedia to sort of bypass this requirement to get into PayPal. Some of you have reported that it's worked. It worked for you. Some of you reported that it used to work and it no longer works or it works intermittently. Uh, whatever it is, the old method has some problems. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to outline uh, a new method I've come up with uh, to log on to the PayPal system without giving them a mobile phone. Now, to use this method, the first thing you have to do is you must clear your browser. So let's hit a control H. Now I'm using Microsoft Edge. Uh, I don't know if this works with like Apple or Brave or any of the other browsers, but I know it works with Edge, so we'll stick with this. So let's go ahead and let's clear the browser. Clear browsing data, clear it all, boom, and the browser is now clear. Okay, now this was the original page. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, now here's Wikipedia. Okay, now you know the drill. We're going to come down here on the left and we're going to hit the donate button and we're going to come over here and we're going to pick an amount on the right. Doesn't matter, it's a fake donation. Pick any amount you want. Okay, and go down to PayPal. Boom, just like before. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in my email address and now we're going to hit next. Okay. Now we put in the password. Okay. Now, this is the page that we get. Basically, this is not really a login. You're sort of logged in, but not really. If I were to hit this big blue button here, that would complete the transaction, and I would donate $10 to Wikipedia. Now, I as a matter of fact, I do sometimes donate to Wikipedia, but that's not what we're going to do today. Now, the previous method, the previous method, the way this worked is, I would come up here to the plus sign, make a new page, and type in www.paypal.com, and it would immediately take me to my PayPal page. All right, for whatever reason, this method seems to not work most of the time. It's, it's intermittent. Once in a while it will work. I'd say probably two-thirds, three-quarters of the time it will not work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you an alternate method of getting into PayPal. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go up here. You see it says https colon slash slash www.paypal.com slash web apps web apps slash Hermes and a whole bunch of rigmarole. Here's what we're going to do. Highlight the rigmarole, hit the end key, and that brings you all the way to the right. Now start, see we're up here, and I'll start deleting. We're going to delete all this rigmarole here. Okay, so take it back, delete the Hermes. What you're going to do is leave the web apps. 
So here's as far back as you're going to delete. It says https colon slash slash www.paypal.com slash web apps. Do not delete the web apps. Leave it there. Hit the enter key. Okay, now you're almost there. Look up here on the right. You'll see two buttons. You'll see my PayPal and you'll see log out. Do not hit the log out button. What you're going to do is hit the my PayPal button. Hit that and boom, here you are. This is my uh, this is my PayPal page. I can send request. I can do whatever I want. Here's my balance. I'm fabulously wealthy. Okay, so I can do whatever I want, and then whenever I'm done, I can just log out and I'm good to go. Okay, uh, that's about what I have. Uh, so you folks go ahead, try this method, uh, see if it works, and I will see you next time. Take care.